I feel like many countries um, are losing their national identity, whereas the Moldova is taking it to the world and showing, hey, this is who we are. We have a great tradition. Um, check us out. Yes, no, I think they've done a good job and they've they've been cl very clever in sort of learning best practice from people who've done a good job. So they have spent time looking at wines of Austria is the model that, you know, everybody admires. Um, so they've looked at that and, you know, New Zealand and I think they've been to uh, been to the USA to talk to Napa Valley producers and so on and so on to learn best practice and to learn that actually, you know, a success for any Moldovan wine is a success for everybody, which is something wines of Australia realised back in the, you know, uh, mid 1990s when they started was to persuade everybody that your enemy, your competition is not the winery down the road. Mm -hmm. It's the winery in a different country that might be taking your space. So, you know, they've done a good job there. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about Mold Moldova, they just celebrated um, the success at Mondesbini in the spring tasting. They had a um, highest number of Eastern European uh, wines being awarded. So my question is, do the awards um, in wine competitions, particularly for Eastern European wines, do they have an influence on the wine sales? How much influence there is uh, on wine sales uh, when um, uh, when those wines are coming from a competition? Well, yeah, I actually did um, a seminar or two on this topic um, a little while back, actually in Moldova because I think they find it quite frustrating that they win a lot of medals internationally, but it doesn't translate into as many sales as they would like to see. Um, and I think the thing with medals in competitions is you've got to do something with them. Just winning a medal, however good a medal it is, won't necessarily sell your wine. You It'll help give your wines credibility, but you've still got to get out there and take wines to the key influencers and the gatekeepers and the buyers and you know, get them to taste it. So they're more likely to if there's a good medal, but you can't sit back and wait. <laughs> 